it's really very important for uh, the community uh, to be at the cutting edge of research so that you know the community can have directly the first hand on uh, new discoveries and um, uh, things that are applicable and relevant uh, to take care and improve the health of these uh, athletes, so the sports horses uh, in, in Alberta and in the Calgary area. When you have a research chair with funding available, like you start with your IDs and you know the funding is there already uh, for these kind of studies and then it speeds up a lot the process and so it's more efficient and you get uh, quicker results and more results for your research uh, studies. So we had horses where that were untrained, unfit, unconditioned. We did a baseline measurement of the VO2 max on the track here at Barnard. Uh, then we send them to water treadmill facility at Kuli Equine for one month uh, and then they came back um, and uh, we did re-measure the VO2 max after the training. Uh, and of course, like every good study, we have a control group. So we have a group uh, with the water treadmill and a group that was just walking on a treadmill with no water. Another project we're doing is uh, looking at exercise-induced pulmonary hemorrhage. Uh, there's lots of controversy in the racing industry right now about EIPH, so exercise-induced pulmonary hemorrhage. And uh, we've done the first study uh, just published this week on uh, uh, looking at how frequent that problem of uh, bleeding is um, in bar racers. The research we're doing is really focusing on uh, exercise physiology with a focus on lungs, heart and throat. So it's really how the horses are breathing, how these hearts are adapting to um, exercise and training uh, and how to make sure things are safe and going well for these horses and so that uh, they can run you know at their optimal level without getting injured and without getting any accident and things like that. So all, all the studies we are doing are really um, problem oriented and, and they are really um, applied um, and they'll have I think a direct impact on um, the community of horse owners and trainers. So I think you know you don't have to be uh, at the Olympic level uh, to benefit from these studies at all. We're trying as much as possible to uh, publish the results in what we call open access journals uh, so that uh, the public can have uh, free access to the results and see the um, read these studies and see how they can benefit from them.